Could life get any better than this? Don't answer that. Now, can you imagine if I actually like put that a little too close and like gave myself a bald spot? I have a whole list of what we're going to do. First on the list is light a candle. Yeah, that's right. We're setting the mood. <laughs> It's been a while since I used this, wow. Pineapple Mango White Barn. I got this from Bath & Body Works. I'm just like getting aromas of pineapple gummy bear. Mm. Mm -hmm. It actually smells so good though. Going crazy. Mm -hmm. Ambiance check. That flame is ginormous. Jesus Christ. Okay, so now that one candle has been lit, we're going to cut my hair. I feel like I'm just gonna give it a little trim. I don't know. I will not be cutting my bangs. Bangs. I gave myself like long bangs. How many times can I say bang in a video? <sighs> Let's just start snipping. Oh God. Every time I cut my hair on YouTube, it is possibly the ugliest I have ever looked on the internet. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I love cutting my hair on YouTube. It feels like I'm a kid and I ran into the bathroom and locked the door and started cutting my hair so no one could stop me. I won't cut off too much because like I said, this is just a refresh. I feel like I look like a horse girl. Ready? This looks like an IUD. <laughs> hey guys, Vampire <laughs> Vlog, I'm ripping out my IUD. Stop, that'd be such a good video. Damn, who cut this? This is uneven. Yep, yep, yep. Make sure they're even. Oh good, they're not. Oh my god, that's really uneven. A little one too. How is this so... <clears throat> now I think I'm gonna just like trim the pieces up front a tiny bit. Yeah, you know, just like frame my face. Ew. Ew, 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 I did not know I looked like that. I look so creepy. Framing layers. <laughs> I'm terrified. That will be a fun surprise for when I'm editing because I don't want to know. This is a scalp scrub that I'm going to be using. TLC Happy Scalp Scrub from Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan. I did not buy this. It was a gift from a friend. But before we do this, I will be using a teeth whitening strip. This is the kind I use. It's just the Crest 3D White. People say that if you have sensitive gums that you should cut one of these in half. I want that to hurt my gums. That's how I know it's working. Hello. And this will be on for 30 minutes. I should have done this after I did my hair so you don't have to hear me talk like this. Okay, now it's time to use our TLC Happy Scotch Cup. It smells like vinegar to me. It smells like pickles! Why? No, my hair is already looking so much healthier and better. Look at that. I guess I'm gonna hop into the shower. I'm scared I will smell like vinegar. Pickles. I hate pickles. <sighs> I'm gonna take this off and then I'll get back to my post shower routine. Uh, uh -huh. I can't, I can't look at you in the eye. For real. You. My mouth always feels so weird after. This little like sweater v neck situation is from Aloe. Yeah, I bet you didn't know I could afford Aloe. I can't. Um, a friend also gave me this. And then this plaid skirt is from American Eagle. It's amazing. I have it in black. It's holy grail. These cute little bear socks I think are from Amazon. Anyways, I have a very simple post shower skincare routine. It seems like when I add in a bunch of new products, my skin just 
hates it. It hates it, okay? And I don't blame her. So I keep it as simple as possible. Right when I get out of the shower, I use different gel. This is essentially a retinoid. Also, do not quote me on this, okay? I swear to God, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I use this much on my entire face. To my understanding, this is like a retinoid that's not a retinoid. Retinol, retinoid, I don't know. But it's not as intense as a retinoid. And then I just go in with my CeraVe moisturizer. Even when I'm just in my house, I like to smell good. This is a Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance. Right now, what we're going to deal with are these eyebrows. So you know, we're gonna pluck them and then we're gonna cut them and then we're gonna dye them. Also, do you see this behind me? This is my slow poke, my fave thing ever. Sitting in front of a super magnified mirror is, it's tough. I'm not religious, but trust me, I'm praying right now. In theory, if I'm struggling this hard with it, I should have a professional do it, but I hate paying someone to do something that I could do myself. At the very least, I should be looking up tutorials on how to do this, and I just don't, because I don't feel like it. I'm just feeling a little lazy. <laughs> but I like to dye my eyebrows with men's beard dye. I did not come up with this, but I have been doing it for quite a while since I was in college because my BFF was like, I'm doing this. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. And then I started doing it and I have not stopped since. I don't know what shade this is. I have had this for entirely too long. I'm scared it's gonna make all of my eyebrows fall out. I don't have any to spare. I just clean it up a little, like you see how bad this looks. I'm trying my best here, okay? I use these Miniseller wipes to wipe it off. Do I know that that's probably not good? Yes, but do I also know that it makes it extremely easy? Mm, yeah, also yeah. I just like rub it out because I'm scared that dye is gonna leak into my eye and then make me go blind. It's very subtle, but it makes like a huge difference, I think. And the thing is, it doesn't matter. If you don't see it, keep it to yourself. It doesn't matter as long as I like it. Unless it looks really bad, then I maybe I need someone to step in. And I know it doesn't, but like, you know. So now that we got all of our necessary items out of the way, it's time for the cute fun stuff. Even the products are just like so cute. We're going to do hydrogel under eye patches. These are Hello Kitty and Creme Shop. I also have these Hello Kitty pimple patches. Look how cute those are. And I'm going to do a lip scrub as well. Brighten up sleepy eyes with the Creme Shop X Hello Kitty hydrating under eye patches infused with retinol, green tea, and watermelon extract. You're crazy. Stop the little Hello Kitty in the corner has her own little eye patches. Look how cute this is. You're lying. I've never felt cuter. This is what it's like to be a woman. Okay, 15 minutes. Mm, it smells so good. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Ice cream so good. Ice cream so good. I'm going to put some pimple patches on. You're literally lying to me right now. I am going to use the Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. It is also so effing cute. I'm eating so much of it and it tastes like sugar donut plus plastic. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. I don't know if this is working. F it, round two. It actually does feel better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now I'm going to use this lip oil. I have no idea what the brand is. There's nothing on the bottom. There's nothing on the top. Just like this weird writing. It smells like cherry. Look at me. Look at me. Look at us. <sighs> Could life really get any better than this? Don't answer that. Oh my god, my lips feel so good and soft. My skin is glowing. <gasps> Stop. Stop. The last beauty thing we're going to do is I need to put some kind of serum in my hair. I do my grocery shopping at Trader Joe's and I like to wander into their little section that has like random stuff like dog treats and candles and stuff. Oh, I saw this hair serum. It's shea butter and coconut oil. It smells so good. One pump of this. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. The timer went off, so I'm gonna 
I'm taking this off too. I can't. Ow. The last part of the self-care is reading my Kindle. This is my Kindle. Is this not the cutest thing ever? I've been really into reading, book talk, whatever. Let me show you the one that I'm currently reading. I am 83 pages in, 31% done with it, and I'm not entirely sure if I like it. Okay, hear me out. The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. Look, look, look. I didn't want to do it, but I was like, I kind of have to. It's the season to fall in love by Lori Gilmore. I like a little rom-com. Something that I do that is like kind of fun, but also sometimes doesn't work out is I refuse to ever read what a book is about. I go based off of a cover. I go based off of Goodreads and book talk. And so if it looks cute, like I'm reading it for sure. This is literally what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my relaxation self-care day because I deserve it. And because it's such a cloudy day, I have to lean into the fall aspect or else I will feel depressed. So we'll just read instead. <laughs> 